hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video i hope you're all doing well i'm back in the car and i'm back yet again with another psl third one so far and well i say third one so far by the time you're watching this video i probably have more than three by now and it's not even on the menu yet i need to just slow down on the pumpkin spice latte but i'm still in that moment of just enjoying that first sip of autumn it is delightful but i am in the car this morning and i am heading to well i'm at the trafford center i'm gonna go to asda and i've seen that they've got loads of autumn bits out i've shown a couple of bits here and there but this asda the one at the trafford center i think is one of the best so i'm gonna head in there i've also got a couple of household essential bits that i need to get which i'm actually parked outside of right now b and m home bargains home bargains have got some water bits as well so maybe we should head there first and show you those bits maybe we'll do end up doing like a bit of a home decor autumn shopping within today's video but yeah i need to stock up on some essentials also need to get some foodie bits and some pantry stock ups in fact that's just reminded me i need to get some more uh of those glass jars the wooden glass jars that i like from b&m which is where i'm at now so yeah let's head on in let's go see what we can find we're also by a tk max so we should have a little shopping day today i'm just in tk max and they've got this gorgeous kind of like woodland type section we've got some lovely little plates little snack bowls and how cute are these mugs 3.99 they've got loads of different designs like hedgehog owl toadstool these little coasters little teapot they've got all of the kind of halloweeny throws and cushions some little doggos cute they've got some ghost cushions as well i've seen these ones with the, the little bows on it's like a his and hers is it oh no it's a set of three actually so it's like mum dad and baby that's cute some kind of like party wear table decor if you were hosting a halloween do and gosh sorry it's a bit loud in here um some more little mugs that's quite a cute one some little fluffy pumpkins some more halloweeny ones i'm quite enjoying this kind of plaid checkered kind of print um for the pumpkins as well again more halloweeny but how cute are these if you were hosting a dinner party it's like a one-time use kind of thing each year but only 3.99 some more glassware these mugs are Cute. they're kind of like reminding me of like something you find in anthropology the little glass pumpkin 5.99 or they've got these ones which obviously you could use more throughout the whole of autumn that one i'm just in the kind of like basket section and i've never realized that or i've never seen it anyway that tiki mats now, now have h&m home stuff so it says retail price of 39.99 but i've just checked online and this actually was 50 pounds reduced down to 12.99 and it is lovely but i just don't know where i'd put it it's like a kind of like a seagrass bowl like a massive fruit bowl or something so i'm in tk maxx changing rooms they've got these um a few bits that i just want to try on from abercrombie these are bigger than my size so i don't know if they'll fit but their jeans are so nice so if they did fit then 13 pounds i thought was a bargain for them and then also from river island this dress originally 32 pounds just like a little satin slip five pounds i did see a smaller size size eight but that was um and it was only three pounds but yeah it was a size eight so it wouldn't fit but i thought it was a nice a floaty loose kind of satiny mini dress that could be lovely for a fiver and then they also sell chelsea pairs now which i know it, they're really like well known for their pajamas but they do like this kind of like loungewear too and this shirt is only 15 feels lovely needs a bit of a steam a bit of an iron but i'm just thinking like a loose open flannel shirt in autumn is just like a staple for me so yeah got that to try on and then last but not least from hollister again this is an extra large so it probably is going to be a bit big but we'll see how it fits anyway can you see the uk price there 49 pounds but it's in the clearance for just 10 just a nice thick knit cream jumper dress with a bit of a slit at the bottom there so anything that i do get i'll uh 
I'll let you know. Okay, we've made it to the Home Bargains Halloween Autumn section. I'm so glad I've seen these. They don't have them online because uh, I had a quick look to see if I could buy one. They're like the Pottery Barn dupes of the Little Ghost Pumpkin cushions. But I also really like that. <laughs> Is that a bit crazy for Halloween? But it's quite big. So for storage purposes, could you have it out maybe that way most of the year? Or most, most of the year most of autumn and then switch it around for when it's Halloween because obviously those faces just make that decor Halloween rather than just autumn. They've also got these little mushroom vases in here uh, for $1.99 but I think they have more online. This isn't the biggest home bargains though so they probably do. I've seen a really nice, I'll put an image of it on screen, of a shopper tote bag that says Hello Autumn on it. That looks lovely. These are the other things that I saw online that added to my basket, but I um, thought I'd check in store first. So these are both 149. Which colour do you prefer? I think I'm going to get this one. I mean, 149, you can't leave that, can you? Here are the goods. Wow, they have loads. So let's start here then, shall we? With this little jug at £10. I also love this little pumpkin pie re-diffuser. Can you hear that conveyor belt? I feel like we're gonna get that a lot here. What else have we got? A nice little footed bowl. Some little toadstools at £8. Quite subtle autumn decor this. So obviously this is the sort of thing that you could have out all year round, but that complements autumn quite nicely. Some fuzzy pumpkins. £15. These little mixed pumpkins would be nice sat out in a bowl. They are £10. Pumpkin picking scented candle. What does that smell like? Oh, it does smell nice actually. It's kind of like a quite a sweet pumpkin smell. They've also got a few other toadstool bits like these little dishes at £4. Mini pumpkin candles. I prefer the green of the footed bowl. Um, this one's a bit more kind of like a blue. I love this. I don't really use wax melts as often as I used to. But this little pumpkin one is, oh, it doesn't say how much it is. So there we go, five pounds, that one. There's also some string lights. These are 10 pounds, could look nice on like a fireplace. Another mushroom vase. And this one's more of the teal color. There's a lot more of this color coming through this year. If you prefer it to the orange. Let's head over and see Stacy. seeing as though she always has some lovely bits, including this kind of outdoor plate. Well, there's not much left. What else has she got that's new? Oh, there's some Easter bits in the sale. So little bowls at four pounds, the cushions at seven. I love this little wooden chain. That's only four pound 50 full price, which I think is very good because it's quite uh, chunky, quite big. Oh, these are kind of like hidden away, but They've got these wreaths, autumn wreaths in. They are beautiful, quite big. So I feel like that would look quite nice on our front door. £16.80, what random price um, for that one. Very kind of white company style. I know they do some like dried foliage wreaths at autumn time. So yeah, if you like the look of that, they've got quite a few of those in. Got some more cushions like a plaid one the toadstools again which are everywhere that looks like a nice big candle that one is 10 pounds so it'll last a while and how cute is that it's got like a little leaf and charm on for those of you that have followed our kind of like garden project where you might have seen this outside i thought i would just show it to you that is the little table that we've got beside our um, like lounge set in the corner. What else do we have? We've got some bits from the bathroom. Wow, that's lovely. Five pounds for this little pumpkin dispenser. They've got some bath mats, some Halloween-y ones as well. Again, the toadstools are back. A bit more of like a woodland theme with the towels, ghosts at the bottom. This is cute, a little guest towel. That could be nice actually in our downstairs. Lou, I might grab one of those. I like how they've styled that shoot. So all of these bits are obviously from Asda. If you wanted to do a little tablescape for autumn, that's really, really lovely. We all love a mug. So it would be rude of me not to show you the autumn mugs that they've got. They've got this glass one for £3 in the shape of a pumpkin. 
and then they've also got this glass one awesome is my favorite we've got some more cushions and throws i saw this one and left it and regretted it so i think i'm gonna grab one i thought it'd be quite nice in barney's bed in autumn for five pound fifty then also they've just got some like more um seasonal colors and patterns i think this one yeah this one has little pumpkins on it let me show you there we go so that's what it looks like so then i actually popped to hobbycraft they had loads of pumpkins and bits that i wanted to share with you the music was a bit too loud so i thought i'd do a little voiceover lots of kind of like diy ones wooden ones that you could paint and decorate but some that are already done or that i would just leave unfinished like these white ceramic ones at just five pounds quite big as well for five pounds um, and then they also had obviously the Halloweeny bits, the wreath making kits, and yes, the Christmas bits were out. So a quick sneak peek into what is in the shops for Christmas, but I didn't want to go too in depth because obviously we're still within um, the build up to autumn. But yeah, I thought I would just show you these little bits that I saw whilst I was in Hobbycraft. Hello guys, good morning. It is now the next day and that is my colors telling me that they're ready um i ended up having a hair wash night last night so i just need to throw in some curls oh it's a little bit knotty a little bit knotty um but yeah successful day at the shops yesterday i did end up getting quite a bit so i will take you guys downstairs and show you the bits that i did pick up um but yeah it's a new day we i'm not sure what our plans are today i'm thinking maybe possibly not sure weather dependent we might um go for like a nice family walk this afternoon i'm not sure where we did think maybe the beach but again i'm just gonna weather dependent it because we're not that close to a beach and if it ends up being drizzly or whatever it's it's like a long way to go for not very well not that it's not a pleasant walk because it'll always be nice rain or shine in fact speaking of i went for a run last night and it was tipping it down and it was the fastest run i've probably ever done <laughs> i just loved it it there's something quite liberating about being outside in the rain especially when it is warm so i was only in like a sports bra and leggings and i wasn't cold at all even though it was tipping it down but yeah just something about it just so liberating and then obviously i got home straight in the shower uh barney came with me so he was wet through bless him but doesn't bother him <laughs> um but yeah it does seem quite a long way to go to the beach if the weather is not dry at least so yeah i think that's our agenda today just a nice family walk i've got some work bits that i need to get done first though so um hence why i'm just throwing a few curls in my hair getting ready for the day and i'll show you guys the bits i bought at the shop yesterday having my morning coffee whilst doing it catching up on some youtube what have we all been watching lately i want to start i know it's been out for a while now but on netflix the love is blind uk i never got into the us version but i think because in america the tv shows in america can be because obviously we live there so i remember them being a little bit cheesy or a bit too romance which for me i just i don't know i don't, I don't tend to enjoy as much whereas watching the uk version i almost feel like it a bit more believable i'm not sure although speaking of love Molly May and Tommy Fury splitting up. Um, I don't know if by the time you're watching this they've come out and said why, but for me filming this, we don't, we don't know. We only assume, but uh, yeah, that must be so hard to go th to go through. I did think that, like to go through a breakup like that, but in the public eye with all the press and the media, I can't imagine how hard that would be especially with like loads of speculation and rumors and when you don't you don't know what's going on do you um until you hear both sides of the story and if they come out and say anything at all but even still just to have the thought of 
feeling like you need to do that i just oh that would be so hard but anyway yeah love is blind so let me know if you're watching if it's worth a watch i think i will give it a go um also celebrity race across the world is just so motivating and enjoyable i really enjoyed that but that's only one episode a week so if you like a binge i'd say save up until all episodes have been on tv but i do love watching that even the normal race across the world you know it's not just the celebrity version i like the normal version too just i find it quite inspiring uh to travel more because i can get quite in my comfort zone of not traveling i like being at home going away for any more than well no matter how even if i'm just away for a night i still miss being at home so like when we went to Cos, for instance that was a week's holiday and it was lovely but i always enjoy coming home no matter how long the stay is but when these guys are traveling especially celebs with like busy schedules and everything they're traveling for a month i always think gosh you really have to just like throw yourself in at the deep end especially the way they do it with limited budget and having to work along the way and meet loads of inspiring people i just find it a really motivating watch to want to travel more but anyway yeah that's good been watching that i really want to see the movie see if i can convince tom to go to the cinema tonight i don't think we will I think I'm happy to, it's one of those I'm, cinema trips are that expensive nowadays. I am happy to wait for that one to come out uh, on Netflix, but we'll see. But it's called Trap. Have you seen it advertised? Is it Josh Harnett, is he called? Watching the trailer of that movie, it seems like it would be the perfect kind of movie genre for me. It says horror, but I think it's more thriller, to be honest with you. It's more... Uh, mystery mystery is what i like to watch yeah that's that's i would say my favorite genre is more mystery um i like guessing until the very end and then finding out and twists and turns along the way that's my favorite kind of genre of any kind of movie tv series so i really want to watch trap um but yeah i think we might wait for that one to come out what else is in the cinema? Long legs. That is more horror though. And that is definitely one that I would wait to watch. <laughs> Till it comes out. I'm not going to see that. I remember once going to see a horror at the cinema. It was Paranormal Activity. Hated it. <laughs> Hated. I, as much as I love a horror, watching it in the cinema is a whole different experience. Although having said that, I do remember, you know, there were bits where it was sort of like scary and or ridiculous that people would just laugh and it kind of would kill the horror vibe like when you kind of brought to reality that it's just a movie with some people laughing and so in a way it's probably more scary watching it by yourself and um, we've loved testing out our outdoor projector so maybe we could get if we've got some dry nights coming up these next few nights which i think we do maybe we could have a little outdoor outdoor movie night and I think that is my hair curled I'll just run some oil through it oh I can hear Tom's just come in and he's on a work call turn that off yeah just run some oil through the ends bit of hairspray and we're good to go for the day the pitter patter of a little pooch wanting to follow me to see if anything in this bag is for him, I do actually have something for you today, by the way. Although, I'm gonna save it for Halloween. Anyway, right, we're back downstairs and I thought I would sit down and share with you the home of it. So let's just dive in with no particular order. I will go with home bargains first. I got a couple of, what is that? Okay, I thought there was a spider. It's not, it's just a piece of fluff. I feel like we're creeping, no pun intended, into spider territory. September's the month, isn't it? As much as I love September, the spiders. I struggle with. Anyway, stocked up on some essential bits, some uh, almonds and dried cranberries that need to decant those in my little pantry. 
breakfasty bits especially tom's been having quite a lot of and i have just not every morning but more sort of yogurt honey and some mixed fruit and um nuts so and berries and stuff so yeah i've got that for those i went for this mug it's neutral it's gorgeous and how could i not I have a problem with buying mugs why why and i still go back to my favorites but i feel like this could be a new favorite so yeah and that I, I need to just each year just have a bit of a coal and just well i do actually and just donate a load of d seasonal decor because i like to show you guys what's new in and buy some new bits to sell up but then how much autumn decor does one person really need now this is not a friend for Barney. Woo! Woo! <laughs> it's not a friend for you. <laughs> Barney. It's so scary. It's so scary. <laughs> it is a ghost. <laughs> In the cushion. Gary the ghost. But he's cute. He's a pottery barn dupe. The stuff at Pottery Barn. Not everyone will know Pottery Barn. I feel like I only know it because I used to live there. Or people that maybe regularly visit America. I don't know. But they don't have Pottery Barn in the UK. You can't shop it. We do often get things in Home Sense though. And things like this that are inspired by Pottery Barn. So have a look for Pottery Barn for inspo. You can't even shop their website online. You can't even see what's there. I think they have a UK equivalent West Elm. But it's not the same. Um, pottery barn is just dreamy for interiors but anyway he's just a little cushion that sits out for halloween i think he's adorable and he was only 4.99 so grabbed him i also got um some bits from asda throws like this are just great for i have a little basket by the back door that we have a load of like clean throws in hold on my battery's going one sec let me just go switch this out and then i'll be back okay we're back as i was saying we have a um, basket by the back door which just has a load of throws in for um, grabbing. They're all clean. So I just keep that basket topped up with throws like this that, where's it gone here? That could be used like on the floor, in the garden, on the grass. He can sit on them, I'm not precious. They're just bung in the wash. Blankets like this as well for like if you sat outside and we're say eating outside or watching a movie outside and it gets a bit cold. Then we grab a little fresh blanket like this. So yeah, have a few of those by the back door and they're super affordable as well. I think they're about, was it five pounds? The road, five pound 50 that one. So yeah, very affordable. They do also have loads of uh, seasonal towels and bedding as well. Don't tend to go for seasonal bedding, but a little hand towel like this, I think would look gorgeous in a guest bathroom, the downstairs low, even as a little kitchen towel and it was where does it say guest towel two pound fifty and i also got because they didn't have these in home bargains tom requested some raisins he also requested some pistachio kernels and then i also got a couple of jars for smaller bits like this where you only ever have really that amount got a bit of a collection of larger jars and smaller jars like this for in my pantry two pound seventy five that's everything that i got from these bits away in fact sorry gary the ghost but you're going away for now we'll get you out a few weeks <laughs> it's a bit early for you just yet so i popped into a hobby craft i needed to get some a couple of little bits for kind of like an autumn -y themed shoot that i'm gonna do i'm working with tails again with barney whilst i was in there i saw that they had these little wooden pumpkins and i just thought that as a little home decor piece was so nice it's like a mango wood dark wood so so pretty i mean hobbycraft who'd have thought this was 10 pounds so it was quite a lot but obviously it's one that you don't necessarily need to diy you don't need to glaze you don't need to paint or finish it's just a standalone wooden little pumpkin for instance on this little coffee table that i've got here replacing something like that with a little oh guys why does that get me so excited and then whilst i was in there they had all of their like pumpkins and halloween bits out so i did have a quick look and I saw this paper garland, which was, again, just a couple of pounds. More Halloween-y, this one. So definitely not one to be popping out until the week of Halloween. But spooky, very simple, something you can just get out year and year again. And the size of that, spooky, I thought would look quite nice. I could 
especially like to decorate the porch for Halloween would be quite nice in front of the, like above the front door because we're in a porch, it's sheltered. I did pop to, oh, hold on, sound funny on my feet. Popped to TK Maxx and this is where I have a little gift for Barney but more so for Halloween time. He's gone outside so we can, I was gonna say we can squeak it but I won't just in case there's any other fellow dog mums out there watching and their dogs sound asleep. I won't wake them up, don't you worry. But a little ghost toy they had so many cute little ghosts and pumpkin and all sorts of dog toys but i thought nice and neutral neutral dog toy i sometimes i roll my eyes at myself okay <laughs> but it's just these things just make me happy um, i'm sure it won't stay like this clean for very long with muddy paws and slobber chops but it's cute for now how much was that this was $4.99. I got a candle. I did buy this one last year and I just love the look of it. So I decided to pick up another one. They've got a, another scent called Almond Pumpkin that I want to give a sniff, but I couldn't see one. Oh, that's nice. Couldn't see one in my local store, but this not only looks lovely, but it smells nice too. It's called Autumn Leaves. They are a bit pricier, these ones at $10.99, but they are quite big. They're double wick as well. And the smell of this, fresh like herby outdoorsy smell like woody just lovely nice little knocker handled lid just exactly what i mean when i i say i like autumn decorating rather than the halloween stuff the halloween can wait until the week off or the couple of weeks before halloween this is nice to have for the three months of autumn although this candle's not going to last three months but yeah, maybe if we can find another one of those, I'll pick one up. But yeah, like I said, they've got a white one with almond pumpkin that I really want to give us. I think it says almond pumpkin or vanilla almond or something like that. I can't remember. Anyway, got a couple of books. I got this Oprah Winfrey one, which I do have an Oprah Winfrey book already in the bookcase. And I thought this would make a nice addition as well. This one's called The Path Made Clear, Discovering Your Life's Direction and Purpose. They make for a really nice read as well. Just one that you can pick up and go to as and when because it's kind of separated into different people's um i'm assuming quotes i'm assuming from oprah winfrey interviews jay-z justin timberlake here we go let's have a couple of quotes from people that we know <laughs> justin timberlake practice and keep working when no one's looking get comfortable in it so that when you step on that stage you're ready then you can literally forget all of it and just be in the moment and then do something different do something original do something different every time yeah i will um enjoy having a little flick through that book and it was only 4 99 and then I did also pick up this book this one um was only 7 99 and I loved the look of this it's retails now retailed for 30 pounds but this sticker is sticky as if there was a clearance sticker on this but that it's been taken off but anyway 7 99 is a bargain for this and how gorgeous is that again as more of like a display aesthetic gorgeous coffee table book it's got like a linen spine and it's called home by the sea the surf shacks and hinterland highways of a byron bay has anyone ever been to byron bay let me know if you have but i was looking through interior books they are some of my most like where i get most inspiration from from interiors even having a book open on display on a coffee table to then just pick up and flick through as and when you're ready or even on a page like that where it's just stone colored with black text sat out on a book on a coffee table just, just love it love 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 can't have enough coffee table books in my opinion i also just randomly picked up a little scrub daddy went for this orange dog one two pounds 79 i like to stock up on cards for my card storage box downstairs and one day maybe who knows 2025 is the year that i will do that tiktok where i will have a binder with all my books all my books all my dates and important dates with the cards already inserted in. So as and when I see a card, I can insert in for that person's birthday or wedding day or whatever it is that I've got coming up, Christmas cards, um, anniversaries, and they're already categorized, maybe not as far as addressed and stamped up, ready to post, but who knows, we could be that organized. This one I thought was quite fun, and it says, take life with a pinch of salt and a shot of tequila, happy birthday. 
And then I don't really have any good luck cards, so I decided to pick that one up. It's just gold and green, simple good luck, $1.99. Oh yes, I've got a couple of mugs. I forgot about these. So I saying about mug obsession? <laughs> really am obsessed. This one could be out all year round though, but I just, it was with the woodland autumn stuff, but it just made me think, oh, I just have to pick up this little owl mug. Kind of looks like an Emma Bridgewater style mug with the shape. It's from Anna Jacobs. Have you seen that TikTok when they say, like going around an office and they say they said you look like an owl and the person goes who it just reminded me of that tiktok i did also get this uh i think this one is my favorite of the two just because i don't have anything like it already and it's one of the mugs with the little glass inserts so once you've drunk your coffee you can see the little glass thing in the middle and they've got these out all year round with loads of different things we've got fruit ones it's summer I found an orange, like a rust orange coloured pumpkin one. So I had to pick it up. And this one was $6.99. It feels very delicate. I did actually get because it was TK Maxx. And I some clothing from Chelsea Piers in a large size 14 shirt, over shirt. And I just thought it's that kind of like flannel shirt fabric that you could just throw on with, um, like I have today, with just t-shirt and leggings as an extra layer just like leave open and yeah a nice length i love wearing shirts i just find them so effortless and just something a little bit different to like a hoodie or a sweatshirt so yeah my new chelsea Pierce shirt this was only 15 pounds in the like i said the final clearance where's the label gone there's rrp of 45 pounds but down to 15 so pretty happy with that little discount um chelsea peers purchase they do the best at pjs apparently so yeah anyway that is everything that i got on my little shopping trip i think we're actually just going to go to gail's grab a lunch and then have a movie night tonight so i might include some clips of that before i close off this video but if i don't speak to you again then i will love you and leave you have a lovely rest of your day and i hope to see you all in my next video Best friend. <laughs> oh, I got that on camera. <laughs> if I left, what would I do with? Jim said mixed berries. Oh.